Styx was double-crossed and thrown overboard by a dark elf shapeshifter that used a scepter powered by a stone charged with a strange energy. According to Hiladrin, the scepter serves as an invitation to the diplomatic summit that the High Priestess of the Dark Elves has organized in Korangar. All peoples will be represented and Hiladrin wants to know what is going on. As for Styx, he wants to learn more about the mysterious powers of the scepter and he intends to get his revenge on the shapeshifter. Hiladrin's airship arrives in sight of the doors to the Dark City. Now comes the question of finding a way to get in. So hello everybody, welcome back to Shards of Darkness. We are starting mission two, the doors of Korangar. Uh, just like the rest, uh, there are two sections to this. There is Korangar, and then there's the living quarters apparently. Because uh, for some reason, the guide on game pressure for the tutorial had the prologue or the City of Thieves, I think, when it, whatever, the first section of it, or no, I actually had the prologue and the City of Thieves, the first two sections of the game. It had the tokens as part of the walkthrough, but then for some reason after that, all of the tokens are separate from the walkthrough for some reason, which is weird. But whatever. <clears throat> Behold, the Fortress of Koringa. It is really nice to see different areas in this rock game. With a hole in it, okay? Mostly rats who live in places like that. I'll drop you on a safe place. I'm thinking maybe a balcony. Then you sneak into the customs office and exchange the incoming flight schedule with this one. And a special amber storeroom. When you've got everything, loosen the balloon near the doors. That will be the signal. Definitely a king size bed. When I'm inside, bring me an official pass. Otherwise, they'll never let me enter Koringa. A fully equipped laboratory. What in the name of the gods are you talking about? Well, new house. all that stuff you're asking for is gonna cost you a chunk of change, so I was just thinking about the new hideout I'm gonna buy with it. I'll send the bill to the Carnage Squad, right? <laughs> Fine, send it then. I mean, here's the thing, right? Like, Carnage is all about killing the goblins, right? Like, that's what their thing is, to destroy the Green Scourge. I get it. Um, that's understandable. Now, a lot of people would be like, well, why would they work with Styx then? But, the other thing I completely understand is that Styx is very clearly different than the rest of the goblins they fight. It's gotta be the one that Heledrin's airship needs to get through. Off we go. Shouldn't be all that complicated to get inside. I mean, especially not if there's no fucking guards out here. Like, oh, there's one. Oh, there's a couple. Uh, is that the hell? Oh, that's probably just handholds along the wall there. I see one of my coins right there already. I don't know what's on the ledge. Maybe a bottle. <clears throat> and then the other coin is way over there on that table. All right, so I got water that I can poison down there, but I don't know why I would go myself to do it. I don't know why I got, there we go. I mean, there's no reason for me to risk myself at all, really. All right, uh, got a dickhead there. Is this the first mm -hmm. time a little green? Okay, now can these guys sabotage these? Somehow I doubt it. But it is already a great honor just to attend. Oh nice, they can. Come take a look. <laughs> just like fucking humps it. What the hell? Dude, this guy is fucking these guys are super useful. Oof. That was alright. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's so close to going over the ledge. Can I not? You know what, I'm just going to destroy this clone. Because he's almost out anyway. And I'm actually going to... Oh, he didn't... Oh. There we go. Because I don't know if I get the amber back from using them if I... Uh, get used to that. If I let it run out. Because <laughs> I want to use them to... 
booby trap this other alarm. Okay, now I'll just get rid of them. So now I can have so now I have two alarms that can be set off with very minimal bad things happening to me because obviously it'll just kill the person who set it off. And there just so happens to be two guys. Well, there's three guys there, I guess. So we've already had one drink the water, so odds are he's the only one that does. Wasn't there three dudes up here, though? So, like, where the hell did that last one go? Let's see, there's a chest here. Nothing there. I mean, if they're really not underneath me, I really thought they would be because I don't know where else they could have went. Maybe one of them walked down there and it's now one of those guys. Because, like, these two up here are... Oh, wait. Did I get the... Skills. Here we go. Did I get my skill that I wanted? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I did. Alright. <clears throat> plan. Uh, achieved. Or plan thought of, I guess. Not necessarily achieved. Because odds are this guy walks right by this chest, right? I think I saw him walk around here. So now if he does, which I'm pretty sure he does, I should be able to grab him and get him. I'm always torn about whether or not I like it when games do that, where like it's... Where, like, when you go into the box, you see, it's like, it's first person. Because, like, on one hand, it is neat. But at the same time, it is super fucking annoying to see out of, as you can imagine. Okay, so I clearly can't put this body in another... Ch oh, look at that. There was a, there was a water thing here as well. Look at that. I could have poisoned that. Yeah, there we go. Poisoned anyway. Just because I'm a dick. Alright. So here is token numero uno. Now then, to plan my strategy for these three. One of them had to have walked down there, right? Because there was three of them down there before, I thought. And now there's still three more, so. These two don't seem to be moving, but I'm pretty sure I saw the one move, right? Like that one that I'm targeting right now, I'm pretty sure I saw him before. Uh, ooh, that's, oh, that's just some spores. So, I mean, in reality, I only have to take out that guard, right? Like, because they're the only one that's patrolling anymore. Because I guess the uh, guy who drank was the other patroller. So this actually shouldn't be too bad. I don't know exactly where this guard goes, but do I actually have space for that? Look at that, I do too. I guess I did craft some stuff, didn't I? Alright, guard. I was going to say, you do come this way, right? Any chance you'll just suddenly be thirsty? Ooh, that'd be good, because I could shove him right off the cliff. I don't have to hide the body. That would be a good spot. But at the same time, with nobody turning around to see him... And there's a vial of amber. Nice. All right. I wasn't sure if I was full up on that either, so I figured I would at least check. And I wasn't, which is awesome. Because now I am. Probably. I say that. I don't remember how to... Uh, yep. Uh, let's see. What else can I hold? Eh, not a whole lot. Guess I didn't have enough things to make the last... Oof. Uh, let's see. They're awfully close together. Which is bad. Oh, no, cannot carry any more iron. Carry more spores. I can, because I think I made insect eggs, but that's full. Let's see. What can I hold? I, oh, that was it. Actually, I'm full up. I was missing, like, one of everything. Poison. Oh, because I probably made a vial of life. Considering that I picked up one of each thing that is required to make it. All right. So now the question is... 
Okay, see, this should be fine as long as the body doesn't hit the pot. Yeah, just like that. All right. See, now this would be a game because, like, it tracks whether or not you've killed anything. This would very easily, or they could have very easily made this game, um, like, endings of, even, like, just, like, the endings of different levels in that. Based on how many people you killed as you went through it, you know? Uh, like, they very easily could have done it like that, and then they just didn't. Like, because you obviously have the option whether or not to kill people, but it doesn't change the story, right? And for the first one, I can see that. You know, I can see that not really making that big of a difference to those people, whether or not you've killed them, or whether or not you've killed on the way there. I mean, uh, they could have done the good old, you know, if you don't kill people along the way, then uh, there will be less enemies later. Like, it won't raise the alert. And then just have like certain story missions that would slightly raise the alert. Like it would still be easier than if you had gotten caught doing stuff. But at the same time, it was still, you know, the game still did get a, at least a little bit harder along the way. I don't even know where the fuck I'm going. I'm assuming this is actually to get, is that a hole in the cliff? Oh yes, yeah, all these spores. Huh. Oh, because then I could have climbed up, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, down, 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 down. There we go. All right. There we are. Because, uh, yeah, like, I could, like, this one especially, considering that you're working with a woman, like, the leader of the group that's meant to kill goblins, like, like, I'm going through here, I'm fucking killing everyone. Like, the canon is that I have killed everyone. Because, you know, I don't think replay would... I personally wouldn't count a replay, like, right? To determine whether or not you've killed everyone in a level. Like, for an achievement or something, I would. But for, like, actual story, I wouldn't. So, like, the canon of this story for me is that I have officially killed everyone in the first play, whatever that first city we were in was, right? Like, they all dead. So, like, it would really be, like, it's really weird that she trusts me this much considering how many people I'm killing. Like, yes, I am doing stuff for her. So I guess, you know, like, I'm assuming she's going to betray me at some point. I'm going to have to kill her. That's a guess. Like, I don't know that, but that'd be a guess. But, like, if at some point she's like, oh, I guess I was wrong, you're not like the other goblins, and it's like, I mean, I talk, sure, I can reason, yes, but I still kill everything I come across. I mean, that, I mean, isn't that the point of you guys, is to stop the goblins from killing everyone, right? Ooh, there's poison. Ooh. Well, now, if there's poison... then I must poison, because poison is the best way to kill someone in this game. Okay. Now, I think this dark elf here should pass by... Ooh, okay, you're going a different way than I thought you were, but whatever. Not... Anything that might... Uh, nope, that did not help. Okay, I, I was a little too ballsy with it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, fuck, they must have threw something at him. Alright, so then they do that. So then I should, in theory, be able to get between them, poison that, and I keep hitting the wrong button to kill him. But there we go. So that'll take care of that guy.
Now, unfortunately, like, I would love to just pop out and kill this guy now since that guy's already drinking, so therefore he is currently dead, but at the same time, it takes that poison just a little bit to kick in, you know? Yeah, it has. Alright. There's those two gone. Now, just check. Okay, my shadow is still there. I don't know. I don't know exactly where my next token is. Like, it shows I'm hanging off of a window. And it says something about walking into the building. And a gate, but... Oh wow, dude, your sword is already through you. How are you even alive? This thing's cool. Ah, those ones. Alright. Uh, oh, that would be the window that he's looking at. Yeah, but you have lockpicks, and, you know, the guards are dumb, so if you cause a racket outside the door, they will come and open it for you. Uh, let's see, I don't need any crafting materials, and my token is in the building, so yeah, I don't even need to go down there. Everybody down there now gets to live, just because, like, they don't have anything useful for me. <laughs> like, it's like, you guys are useless. How does that feel? Like, the fact that you get to live is just because I have no use for you. Register of merchant airships. Then I gotta find her a pass. I don't know if you heard that, but something was beeping in the house. Which is odd. It's not the first time that's happened though. Didn't know what the hell it was the last time it happened either. Probably shouldn't have came at him from the right, considering he came to the table from the left, so he'd probably have turned right. Okay, goodbye to you. I'm also not doing a very good job of hiding my body. It's like <laughs> Just leaving them where they draw. Ah, fuck. I do have to go back for another one. Uh, is by the gate into the fortress. So the next collectible. So they're... Ew, oof. That was a rough fall. Is in here, I think. Uh... I guess he could see me through the window, maybe? I don't know. It's weird. Got that guy doing nothing there. Uh, got that guy doing nothing there. I'm assuming that's a sewer thing I can hide in. Really don't know what's up with that guy, though. Is he all the way up top and, like, saw the dead body, maybe? That doesn't look like it's all the way up there, but maybe. I have a chest here, but I don't see anyone going anywhere near it. I also climb that thing in the middle, but that seems like a bad idea. Uh, got a guard there. Staring like right at this guard house. For some reason. I kind of wish I'd actually already went down and got into the box. Because I have a feeling that this guy's going to walk right by it. I almost dropped down it. Alright, so there's the door. So I guess it's in there. Yeah, it looks like it's like right on the table. And he does not actually... Now maybe this other guard here is snoozing, but somehow I doubt it. Um, don't remember what my whistle is. Mistral hears you. Does he now? Um. Yeah, why'd you go all the way over there? Dude, you have some fancy ass armor. I like that. That's some good looking armor right Nothing. there.
Now then, will you walk by my chest? No, you went around the other way. You bastard. So does nobody walk by this box? I mean, oh, wait, wait. There it is. All right. Carob, and I can unlock it. Now, the question is, though, is there a way to do it without using a lockpick? Mm, that's not seem to be. Oop. Can't hide in the box, but that's fine. I'll go hide back here with this body. All right. You know, I will say, like, the war paint makes them seem more orcish than elvish, but, you know. I guess the orcs in this game are fucking huge, aren't they? So. Alright. Come on. Hopefully there's nobody in the guardhouse. That would be bad for me. Weird log. I see they put a lot more effort into the design of shit in this game. Because, like, not everything is the same. Okay, so I can craft there. Uh, I guess I'll just... I'll write I can't actually craft lockpicks because I don't have that skill. What is going on? These feeble humans are truly unable to control their emotions. Is his pass valid? Yes, but we'll keep him here a little while longer. This will teach him to control himself. Hmm. I All right. to get that pass. Okay, let's head for the docks. Yeah. Okay, so we got to pass there. So we got to falsify the register, which is closer. Okay, I can climb up there. Then. Do, 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 do. Man, it's a good thing that their architecture is perfect for goblin climbing here. All right. Oof. This guy, maybe this guy did find the dead body. Come here. Go lay with your friend. There you go. Oop. That guy also looks like he's alerted, but oh, it's also just him out here, it looks like. I think that was the only other dude there was, was these two out here. So I'll take out this guy. Come on. Come on. I know you patrol. I just saw you walk. There you go. It's like, I know your fucking legs work. If you could get into these boxes from the side, that would have been better. But yeah, you know, you can really just screw off with like the whole swiftness thing. So I clearly have no intention of going for that on my first run. Like, do you know how? Well, to be fair, I don't know how hard it would be to do that on your first run. But I imagine not easy. Otherwise, it wouldn't be, you know, a challenge token, or I guess they're not, I don't know, are they still called challenge tokens? Because that's what they were before, were tokens. Well, hello. I hope you don't plan on just standing there forever, but, because uh, that's a weird place for you to stand, right? Like, you're standing there, you're staring this way, like, why? Why are you doing that? You're so weird. So, I guess I shall find a different way in then. Now I can go down there. Uh, let's see, is there anybody there? There's a guard there. That was just harsh. Let's drop down here. Oh, sure, now you move. We'll extinguish that so that he has less of a chance to see me do this. Well, that's what you get for checking the light. Ah, yeah. oh, oh, fuck. Damn it. Nah, who knows when the fuck I... Because I... Ugh, did I even save it myself? I don't know if I did a quick save or not. Uh, shit. Where am I? Ah, uh, that's just after that token. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I will take it. 
Not that I really have any choice but to take it, but you know, still. So that guy does move. He just fucking stands there forever, though. Like, clearly he doesn't move quickly. Now, I don't know if that guy's patrol route was... All right, well, I'm going to call nonsense on that because, like, it was loading up, but then the light went out and it just kept going up just as fast. I feel like as soon as the light went out, it should have started to go up slower. I'm not saying, like, not go up at all because, you know, he clearly knew that there was something there, but it should have at least, you know... In fact, yeah, it should have stopped. It shouldn't have went to red. It should have stopped at yellow and then, you know, he came and investigated and then, you know... Decided then, like, hmm. shouldn't have turned hostile. I still hate how you can't, like, accurately use, you know, saves to do the same thing to get through an area. Because, like, even that right there, I got up here just fine when I got the coin, which I'm assuming is when it saved it. And then when I had to reload that save the last time, I, once again, did just fine with nobody seeing me. But then, for some reason, all of a sudden, it, uh, it was a problem and that guy saw me. And I don't know, like, it doesn't make any sense. Nope. Drop there. that uh, you know what let's just you make too much I mean noise. he's the only one here so I mean there's really no reason for me not to goodbye you in this super dark corner over there and then I can't get in and poison that without that guy seeing me because he turns around just that little bit too quick although he may have got away with it there because he was turned that way but I also don't know that this guy will take a drink so and once again since he's the only one left in there there's also very little reason for me to not just go in and kill him like why bother right and in fact that was weird, but whatever. There's also no reason for me to take my time killing him. Glad of you. Get my coin. Uh huh. Falsify. Oh, okay. Well, that takes time. I guess it would have to, right? Because otherwise, once again, it wouldn't be a challenge to do the no kill thing and no alert. What is that? Is that more iron, probably? God, there are. I don't know why people might... I imagine people must use their fucking equipment way more than I do. Like, I'm so used to playing games like this on, like, harder difficulties where, like, you yes. don't give... Like, where you don't get, like, shit for equipment, you know? Or if you do, you know, it, like, it's still, like, meh. Man, I see a really easy kill down there that I want to go for. Um, there, I guess I should see where my other, my next coin is though. Oh, I see. Uh, I actually should have stayed up there apparently for this one. Is there anybody in here? What's that guy in? I think I can handle one elf. Well, yeah, see, I was going to say, I will have to take my time with this one, though, because I don't know who else is around. Who's, there's a guy right there who's floating off the ground. Get him. Just because. Cause 
I really didn't have a reason to kill that guy. <laughs> Throw you in there. This is open, right? Yep, good. I don't know where I am anymore. Although, I feel like that room across the hall looks a little familiar. This does. Did I kill people in here? strength and agility purify our hearts and let our pain oh that guy i was like who the fuck is talking do not allow our hands to tremble as we slay off there's a uh our bodies can i drop that hearts. chandelier our hands are i can't yours. glory to listril brazier glory i guess no listril. chandelier glory to listril yeah sure glory glory whatever all right not the room i thought it was leaving I think I need to go upstairs, but those two guys are looking out here. Is there a way to climb up? There is, but that climbs up right next to the guys that I wanted to avoid. Oh! It's fine. There we go. Right? I know that's where... Yeah, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the documents room. All right. So I forged the documents in here, and then according to this thing, uh, somebody may have patrolled downstairs and found a dead body or something. Wait, no, I didn't. Oh, it's, it's because I turned shot. the light off. All right, I see. I see. I was like, no, I didn't kill anyone in that hallway. That's nonsense. But no, we're good. Oh, good Christ sticks, you piece of shit. All right. So as I say, this one's right behind the room where you forged the documents. Leave towards the cliffs. Uh, well, I mean, if I don't think that would be the cliffs. Maybe that way would be the cliffs. Oh, I don't know. Well, I mean, that would... You know, looks, actually. Go. Uh, that doesn't necessarily look right. These feeble humans are truly unable to control their emotions. Is his pass valid? Yes, but we'll keep him here a little while longer. This will teach him to control himself. Mm, I need to get that pass. Okay, let's head for the docks. Okay, so there's the pass. Uh, but now the question is, is do I go give the signal first or do I go get the pass first? Because, I mean, she needs the pass to get in, right? So I guess the pass would make more sense, but I don't know... Okay, so this here sounds like it's towards. Coin-wise, I should go give the signal first. I just feel like I'm making a mistake. Because, like, if I give the signal, she shows up. And then she has to wait there while I go and get the documents for her. But I guess that doesn't necessarily mean that, that like, she's landing where I give the signal. So, maybe... Uh, let's see, there's a lot of climbing I can do here. But this guy's really being a party pooper. And not fucking moving. But I guess it doesn't really make a difference, because I can always go behind him and get him from here. But that guy saw me. Alright. Oh, this level actually isn't all that long. Uh, I guess depending on how much it takes, I may actually be able to get through this in one part, which would be... I actually don't know if that'd be good or bad. I mean, it sounds like something that'd be good, right? Well, I guess I can always just do this, right? I mean, I still have like five coins, yeah, tokens, whatever. I mean, I can always just come here. From this here, seems like a rather the whole area. Ah, watching is one of life's most enduring pleasures. And I can go this way, which takes me to the cliffs. I still don't know where the hell this coin is. Alright. So this guy might be might come in handy later. 
fortress has more holes than a rundown brothel. Yeah, it does. All right. So now we'll give the signal, which will cause her to show up, but then I still need to get the thing for her. So I shall detach that. Is she, though? I mean, I feel like this whole thing is because the Dark Elves say that they can get rid of the goblins. Her whole thing is to get rid of the goblins. Like, I don't... Coming to investigate the balloon being released, or what? I mean, they can go for it. I don't really care, so... Do, do, do. Because I'm looking for this, like, because I, I got a picture to look at, and he's on cliffs, but he's, like, above a roof that doesn't look like it's in here. Right? Like, it, like none of these roofs look like the one that's there. It looks like one that's outside, and it's so bright. That I really feel like this picture is taken from outside the fortress, not inside of it. Well, hello. I wonder if I could land on that, because that's probably her ship. If I had to get. Yeah, see, it looks kind of like that roof there, in all honesty. I mean, it's nice and bright. I can't see anything really underneath it is the issue that I'm having here. So, like, it could be that roof, for all I know, but... Way on the other side. Look like it. But, I mean, I feel like if it was that one... Oh, you know what, though? I actually have a way up anyway. That I did not see before. It also keeps saving, but I'm assuming that's because she just got here now. Okay. We've got two guys down there, which is nothing. Oh, I ain't got that. I mean, this looks... Like, I was looking at this before. These feeble humans are truly unable to control their emotions. So the coin should be like... Yeah, there. Yes, that it we'll right there, maybe. This will teach him to control himself. I need to get that pass. There we go. Because okay, the now that these guys are done talking, that one guy did come and look underneath here, or not look underneath here, but they come and stand next to this, I think. <sighs> Although I just saw a guy walk up to the left, which I don't remember any of them doing before. God, this whole can't see outside the box thing is super fucking annoying. Yep, that's what I see. That's why I saved right before I got out of the box. Because I was like, there's no fucking way. Or if it's a corpse of a guard in heavy armor, does that mean that you can't move the heavy armor, the bodies with heavy armor, those guards? So that guy was definitely looking this way. I think I hear him walking, but that might have been him right there. I mean, I know somebody came in here and fucking stood next to this box. I've watched them. Oh, here we go. This guy, maybe. Because one of them went and stood next to the alarm bell. And the other one came and stood next to the box. No, no, no. <laughs> I like, like, the no, 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 no. Oh, there it was there. I guess I hadn't managed to successfully kill this guy anyway, but what a weird way to put that picture. Like it, like the description makes sense, but the picture they put with it does not. Oh, it's on it. Oh, and I also missed one. Apparently it should be in, in here actually. And those guards left, right? Well, they came back. Got it. Save. Ooh, eight and nine are together, eh? Okay. Now where, okay, so there's the ship. Uh, I mean, I want to drop on it so badly. I guess I did just save it, right? So. Oh, God, that hurt. Ugh. Like, you know, whatever made it. Oh, and I can use that actually to get up there. All right. So let's see now. 
They are outside the building in front of the ship on the balustrade. So does that mean it's over there? Because like I saw, uh, like I see like a little marker over there. That could be it. I also don't actually know how to get off of here now because this looks dangerous no matter what I do. So. Oh, God, should I even? Mm. I mean, I, I'm not allowed to be detected anyway, right? Like I'm going for the no alerts, which I still have. So, I mean, it's not like it matters that much. Like, my health is basically to take some fall damage when I need it. Okay, so I'll do this one. Because that looks like it could be a coin. And then the other one would be over there. All right, yeah, then that's definitely them. Now, I can try and drop kill this guy. Which technically worked. Everything is in order. You may enter. It's about time. I've been waiting here for eight yeah, yeah. Silence, human. Oh, no, that's Okay, that sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Okay, that one hundred percent shouldn't have worked. Good day to you. Uh, but it has seemed to have. Okay, so that's the guy I need to get the pass from. I'll save it. Why not? Oh my lord. There we go. A pass for the super sized giraffe. Okay. <sighs> Shit, man, I need to get back up there though. Well that's fine, I got stairs, right? What are the odds there's anybody up the stairs that'll care that I'm here. Uh, I thought I saw someone walking that way, but it looks like I might actually be clear. Apparently it's really dark out here according to my dagger, but I mean, it doesn't look that dark to me, but you know, whatever. Take it. Oh wow, that guy stands right underneath that bell. Oh, make it. Oh, that didn't. Uh -huh. I'll take it. It worked. I'm still up here. I'm still free. Oops. All right. Hide on the table. Save. We got what? One more coin now? Yeah, we do. We're almost through this place, actually. Right before. Let's see. All right. So I got an objective on this picture. Not obviously my objective currently. But it says to. Uh, reach the living quarters, so I know I can go and give her this before advancing. Uh, I can also do the kill that I saw earlier, because I fucking love using these barrels. Oop. So this will fall. And there was two guys underneath me at one point, underneath where I am. How invisible am I? Slightly invisible. Alright. So I mean... <sighs> If they both stand there, I can get them both with this, which will be nice. I mean, I feel like I'm not very invisible, but according to the dagger, I am like about half invisible. Oh, see now, the, uh, oh, that might not have even been a guy I saw. That might have just been a uh, uh, sewer hole. Because, I mean, that guy can clearly drop that on him as well. Is there really not another dude? There's also a poison thing under there. I mean, the oh wait, no, there's the guard. Yeah, this guard doesn't seem to be moving though. Yeah, whatever. All right. Um. So now I just need to get onto the ship. Doesn't sound too difficult, but oh, but she locked her fucking door for some reason, like a weirdo. Oh, dude, you gotta. Mm. Is there really no other way in here besides that? Can't be right. 
Like, there's got to be a way in here without picking a lock, right? Oh, wait, unless... Okay. Thank you, Styx. My airship can now moor unhindered in Koranga. The Dark Elf will soon be checking the vessel and making sure that I hold a path. Okay. We'll meet up on the other side. Perfect. Now, Haledrin can do whatever the hell she wants. Let's take this opportunity to visit beautiful Karangar. Find that shape-shifting bastard. I kind of want to work my way back up to get back onto that... that floating thing in the middle. Which I think I can do from up here. Which should be... Oh. Excuse me, you want it? There you go. Right, I can get there from here-ish. I gotta go a little bit higher, but that's fine. So I think I got everyone dead here. Oh, I could push this. But... Oh, I don't get that guard that's... Oh man, that's weird. There's a big... Sp oh yeah, because I killed these guys up here already. Good, good. Because let's see, will that take me... No, it actually would put me right in the path of those two. But I see, like, a cliff that I can climb on the one side of it. Right? I just don't see a way over to it, is the thing. Because, like, I see a bunch... Oh, I see. I have to go... Well, that's fine. I mean, I didn't need to go here at all, but... Slot down here. Work my way this way. Because I need to get... Uh, if I stay under here, I think... Uh, room right before the corridor to live in course. Okay, around 15 meters from the mission marker. Oop. Now 42 meters away, so I'm definitely nowhere near it. Alright. Um, okay, so if I... Nope. Oh. That and hang on to there, hang on to there. Get up there. Uh, there we are. Uh, drop here. Save because I'm about to do a series of hard jumps. Oh god, right, which oh whoops. Oh, oh alright. <laughs> I forgot that it takes him a second to speed up when you're actually going from a stall. When you're going from one to the other, it takes no time at all. About 15 meters, so that should be in this room in theory. Oh, let's see, they seem to be on a balcony with a dead guy in a carpet. So, I mean, my dead guy's missing, but I'm sure I can find one to put there. Uh, so it is, I guess, I'm guessing it's that shiny thing on that table there. Okay, so before we leave, let's make sure that my shadow is there. Save. The coin. I just gotta watch this guy and see what he does. Yeah, go that way. Thank you. Wow, look at me with restraint. Apparently I have more restraint when it comes to killing elves than it does when I come to killing anything else. Wow, look at that. 50 minutes. Less than an hour. Alright, so that'll be it for this part. Next part, we'll do the residential quarter. And uh, yeah, that'll be that. So, thanks everybody for watching. And I will see you on Thursday for maybe, who knows, maybe this will be another short one and we can knock it out in one go. So yeah, I will see you Thursday for the residential quarter.